Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coach Francis and thank you for visiting my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the chessboard and the pieces that goes with it. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. That will keep you updated. This is the chessboard. It comes in many colors. It comes in various materials, but it will always have that 64 squares that you play on. Tito ka naglalaro ng chess. This is where the action is. Diyan naglalaro ang mga magagaling na utak, mapabata, mapamatanda. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Iba-iba kulay niyan. Dark and light squares. Merong 8 ranks at merong numbers that go with the ranks from 1 to 8. Meron din yung files. Yung 8 files na yan, meron namang kasamang letters. Mula kaliwa mo hanggang kanan ng chessboard. That's A file, B file, hanggang H file. Left to right. At don't forget, ang chessboard meron din yung diagonals. Ang diagonals could be light square diagonals and dark square diagonals. Remember, ang ranks, numbers. At files, yan naman ang letters. So, meron kang susunding numbering system, filing system. Ang tawag dyan, coordinates on the chessboard. Yan ang isang sample ng naming ng squares on the chessboard. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, and A8. Ganong sistema rin ang gagawin ninyo sa iba. Alright? And now we talk about the chess pieces. The chess pieces o mga piyesa ng chess. Remember, these chess pieces, sila yung mga sundalo mo, sila yung army mo, and you are the general of this army. First is the king o ang hari. Ang king ang pinaka-importanting pyesa sa chessboard. It's important for you to know na ang hari, they say, is slow-footed. Um, one square at a time ang movement niya, pero kahit ganun, malaki ang paa niya. If it stands on one square, it controls nine squares. At ang sunod na pyesa naman na ating kikilalanin ay ang queen or reina. Tandaan, ang reina ay ang most powerful piece. Napaka-aggressive nitong pyesa na to. Quick-footed o mabilis. It's worth 9 points. And the queen can have so many moves to choose from. The queen can move along the diagonals, files, ranks, except the queen cannot move like a knight. When you're a queen, you can't just jump anytime you like. At ang sunod na pyesa na ating pag-uusapan ay ang bishop. Dalawa to, itong magsisimula ka. Light and dark squared, 3 points each at exclusive diagonals lang ang ginagalawan nito. Mahilig to sa open diagonals sa laro. And the next piece, I think, is the most iconic chess piece na makikilala ninyo. Ito ang knight. Ang knight ay uh, kamuka ng isang ulo ng kabayo. It loves closed positions. Never call a knight a horse. It moves in an L-shaped movement. It hops and jumps. And it's worth 3 points. Tandaan na, it's called a knight, not a horse. And the next one is the pawn or pion. Tawag ng lolo ko sa piyesang pawn. To start with, you, you have 8 pawns at the start of the game. It moves along files. It captures diagonally. And pawn has two special moves. And passant and promotion. Um, ang pawns can become a queen, knight, bishop, or rook. But can never become a king or stay as a pawn forever. You have to promote into 
the allowed pieces once you reach the last rank. And finally, we have reached the last piece of the agenda, the Rook. It's definitely not the least piece. It's worth 5 points, loves to move along open lanes and ranks. It is like a tank. It castles with the king. It's a special move, um, queen side or king side. A lot of people say and claim that the rook is the second most powerful piece on the chessboard, second only to the queen. And that ends our quick survey of the battlefield and the armies for our chess 101. Only at Coach Francis Video Center. This has been Coach Francis. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.